Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at some Kodokan footage of guard play and particularly open guard. I think I've spoken about open guard or the Seitai maybe two years ago, a little bit more. I remember being in Japan and uh, there was a lot in Kosen judo books, but today we're going to be looking at the classical blue wall of Kodokan and see a beautiful demonstration. It's crazy what the YouTube uh, endless pit contains. I still, um, what what's the word, uh, find footage that I've never seen before and it contains so much and uh, we're going to be looking into it. But uh, before that, of course, please feel free to check out my translation of Ryohei Uchida's The Origins and History of Judo, dates back to 1903. Uh, available in French and English, please link will be down below. So first, uh, we're going to be talking about sweeping mostly. So it's called kusakari, as you can see here. So kusakari, if you translate it, it means cutting the grass. Now, if you ask me, I think cutting the grass is a far more uh, beautiful term than sweeping, because in judo, sweeping is a whole action of its own. So here you can see you have the front of the ankle facing the back of the opponent's ankle while you hook uh, the other leg with your own and then create a big split and shift your weight forward which allows them to fall backwards and it's all about kicking that leg and uh, keeping the ankle uh, tied to your ankle so um, now uh, if you look at old kosen judo productions you'll see something very similar uh, but there is many ways of doing it so here for example um, gripping the leg from the outside or hooking with your own leg from the outside while cutting down by shifting your weight and holding on to the belt because the belt as you know it is tied to the stomach or the close to the center of gravity so it's far more easier to control them now let's see another variation of it and you can see here collar sleeve legs open say type position here he positions himself far more sideways so you might see this more as a troubleshoot for something like tomoe nage and you see instead of uh, putting the ankle the face of the ankle on the back he completely hooks the leg with the back of the knee so um, here you see this is the variation that uh, we kind of saw and also you have the uh, troubleshoot for Tomoe Nage and here you see the complete hooking of the leg instead of using the front of the ankle. Now uh, let's move to a more uh, something that we see a lot in Jiu Jitsu today and you can see uh, the what they call the ashigarami battle which i don't like that term because ashigarami or tangled legs is a technique on its own is a particular technique and here as john danner calls it the inside position and so again it's all about the uh, front of the ankles which can serve as a very sticky knot and also as your leg moves you can uh, shift their legs or their arms and here you step over one calf and then with the other you do like a half butterfly hook and then you sweep them to the side and uh, notice the motion of the arm here it's like giving a forearm to the cheek but of course it's the cross collar grip that you use you lift up your forearm and then you sweep to the side or cut the grass to the side and then uh, proceed to pin and uh, here they look like they're going for a belt grip in order to push down and try to pass but um, you extend your legs sit upwards uh, step on one calf and then hook uh, the other one with the front of the ankle so uh, hikikomi turnovers are very common when i showed my video on kosei in a way sparring on the ground he used quite a bit of this uh, usually this is very common you see it half butterfly and then a grip down the back gripping the belt and you sweep sideways or you can hook the arm and go to the other side there's 
many variations, but gripping the belt on the side and then uh, hooking on the inside of the thigh. And here you can, of course, sweep to the other side. Again, it all depends on where you put your hooks and how you shift your weight. Um, now, let's see more. Uh, this second variation of, uh, instead of pushing forward and uh, maintaining the same grip, he actually pulls him towards him with double underhooks and then flattens him. So he cannot sit up because he has him all uh, on top of him. And then from there, with the legs, he can go to the side. And so since the arms are extended and flattened, they have no control whatsoever. So from there, it's very easy to sway to the side and then continue to uh, pin, basically. And uh, here, uh, this one also where they have one knee on the ground. It's very common to start uh, rounds like this. So again, when you watch these, make sure you take notes. I'm sure many of you do, but here, so you have cross collar grip sleeve and then gripping the belt as you saw countless people do in the past, but except he enters differently and watch what he does. Um, so you have the leg that's on the inside. Uh, it keeps hooking while the other arm actually hooks the leg. So watch what he does. So he has the front of the ankle hooking the inner thigh and he has the other leg hooked with his arm. And so he pulls towards him and gets underneath and then uh, sweeps towards the butterfly hook while you would actually imagine the other side. But this is very unique. Um, you would expect that he's gonna hook, uh, he's gonna sweep with the leg, but he does with the arm and he lands perfectly in the Yoko Shiho Gatame. And here, um, in case maybe they want to post or uh, maybe they are a bit strong, so you have posting from this side or of course the other side if you uh, want to uh, underhook the leg. So uh, what he does here is grip the belt, but instead of the leg, he removes the arm from the equation and then flattens him out. And then of course, uh, going to the side and getting to the pin. But as you can see, the leg is flat, the arm is flat, and there's little control left. And here, instead of getting caught in half guard, he uh, maintains the uh, front ankle in order to control the thigh. So these are critical details that are very uh, important. And look how he just switches and then immediately good position. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. And also don't forget to check out my book, The Origins and History of Judo. This was Shadi. And thank you for listening.